Hey friends, Fred here. Welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at a remote control helicopter made by Griffin. It is the TC Hilo Assault Helicopter. Stay tuned. Yeah, I really just had to do a toy this uh, for this uh, Friday video because things are just getting way too serious out there in the news political world. So, uh, thought we'd have a little fun today. So, here's the, uh, helicopter that you get. All plastic. Nothing, uh, you know, out of the ordinary of normal toys. You have these, uh, little weights here on the top that help auto-correct, rotate, whatever, auto-level. You get a metal shaft here. Power switch on the bottom and a little place where you plug in this USB cable. It does not come with a charger. You got a... USB cable has a light on it. When you first plug it into your computer, that light will turn red. Uh, make sure your switch is off. Then you plug this little connector that's really tiny into the bottom here. And by the way, this comes out really, really easy. Uh, let, me, let me show you. This is actually the first hit that this, this toy is going to get. I could shake it out pretty bad. So you got to put it in there and carefully... Uh, seated it there it's sort of it's a stupid place to put it to at the bottom because then you got to sit it sideways i don't know and then um you know in about 30 35 minutes that red light will come back on to let you know it's all charged up and it is charged up ready to go so this does not come with your normal controller what this comes with is this uh thing that you attach to the back of a smartphone or ipad or something like that this works with android or iphones um, it comes with a place for batteries, but doesn't come with batteries. You have to put in two AAA on this side, two AAA on this side. So if you buy this product, you also need to have batteries or buy batteries. So let's go ahead and pop this in here. Then also it doesn't come with it, um, the software you need to load on your, your smartphone. So you have to go to the store, whatever um, thing you have, Android or whatever, and do a search for TC um, Hilo or Hilo TC, and, and you'll find the app. It's free and downloaded, and I have it right here. So once you do that, go ahead and make sure your volume is turned all the way up on your phone, and also put it in plain mode, and I'll show you why in a second. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your phone into this little thing here. And it's shaped in such a way that, you know, it, it feels comfortable. And you're going to take the... Um, it, lo it looks like a headphone jack, don't it? But you're going to put that into the, the headphone jack hole. Or whatever it's technically called. Right there into your smartphone. And now you're ready to rock and roll. So start up the app. And there it is. And uh, we'll go ahead. I'm not going to get into the intricacies of this, but uh, I already put this in advanced mode. When you first load up this thing, you could only put the um, the throttle up about halfway, as you can see there. Go ahead, let you see that throttle. You also this uh, forward, backwards, left, right, and you can also go into here and you can change it from joystick to motion, so you control it by the accelerometer that's built into your smartphone get straight there okay you can also um, this this app is made for two different helicopters so I got the assault which is <laughs> it's an assault weapon they'll want to ban this too right uh, okay I'm not, I press that to get political again and um, then you can go ahead and tweak some other controls here I went ahead and put it on expert mode as you can see there but there's other modes here also when you're all done hit the check mark and you're back to the um, good old place here now this thing also has some other fun features, which uh, is why I bought it. Because, you know, this this was at the impulse rack right there at the, the front of the store when I was on my way out of Best Buy. Um, it also, the, the cost, the price wasn't exactly impulse, it was $60. But anyway, you get missiles! So you just uh, pop these things in there. Just like that. And now you can shoot your cat. No, I'm not telling you to shoot your cat, but you can shoot your cat. So now this thing is armed. You have an armed weapon, an armed assault weapon helicopter. Now, 
It was kind of nice that they added extra missiles because you're probably going to lose them if you're shooting this thing <laughs> in, in a house that might be a mess or outside or whatever. You have some extra rotors and you have some, an extra linkage and you have an extra um, little heel, a little thing back here. Uh, linkage is this this thing right here that links this to that first top rotor that helps it, you know, gyroscopically keep everything level for you. Okay, so that's basically what you get with this thing. You also get a set of instructions. It might be some of the worst instructions I've ever seen to come with a, a product. And you also get this warranty that's on this <laughs> tiny little piece of paper. And I actually read it. It's probably one of the worst warranties and, and um, consumer person hostile that I've ever seen. So, all right, so we're ready to go. Let's uh, let's have some, let's do some uh, pre-flight checks. I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on. And actually, because, you know, video cameras can see infrared. Well, actually, I can see this blinking. And um, you have a little light there. Whatever. Okay. So it has a little blinky light in front. So, here we go. What I'm going to do is um, start this thing up a little bit. And the first thing you notice is that there is a a uh, noticeable delay in how long it takes for it to go. Let me show you that. Okay, I just... Okay, you saw that? It doesn't instantly turn on as soon as you do it. As you can tell, I've already flown this around a little bit. Um, this delay with a model helicopter, it, you know, it's like a, a maybe a quarter of a second. Um is the difference between a, a good flight and crashing into a wall or ceiling. But um, look, I could turn this on and off. I'm going to turn this on and off. And you can see how much of a delay that is. Like I'm going to go, see? You can see how long that took. Watch. I'm going to go. You see how that, that delay? So that's not good at all. That's why this uh, helicopter is probably one of the harder <laughs> helicopters to fly. And um, it's a good thing it's halfway tough because I've already wrecked it pretty good. But anyway, let's go ahead and fly it. And uh, we'll get some footage and maybe I'll try to shoot you while we're, we're at it. So again, the, uh, the flight controls here, left, right, forward, backward and your throttle right over here and these are the missiles left missile right missile so let's go ahead and uh, try to fly this thing and uh, I, I hit the ceiling I get ya?
Um, one other thing I didn't point out on this thing is there are trim controls right right here and here. It's hard to see because I got the light. There we go. Trim controls up here here so you can go ahead and make sure that when you're not inputting anything left or right here that when it's centered it will um, not be still turning. All right. Well, needless to say, this is going back because this is just a royal piece of garbage. Um, the 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 amount of delay between the your your moving the controls and this reacting makes this practically unflyable. You know it, or at least it's not fun. You know, I, I'm sure if you're in a big open space and you have a lot of room for all that delay, it, it could be all right. But this is not an outdoor helicopter. This is a indoor helicopter, and you're usually flying it in restricted, restricted space <laughs> where you could bust your area. You know, so um, you know it looked pretty cool. You could shoot missiles. I, I shot you guys with my assault weapon here, and um, needless to say, it's going back. Uh, I recommend you to, to do not buy this product. I'm giving it a 1 out of 10 because it, it's a royal piece of crap. The warranty sucks. The uh, manual sucks. The controls suck. It didn't come with batteries. Um, you could do a lot better for a lot less with these uh, small remote control helicopters. So, uh, Again, I want to make sure that as you're walking out of Best Buy or if you see this box on uh, Amazon or somewhere else, this is the Helicopter TC Assault by Griffin. I don't recommend it. This uh, is a candidate for worst product of the year here on the Gear Obsession channel. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining me here. I hope I saved you a couple bucks. I uh, always enjoy having you. I appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and you. And I hope you have a great weekend. See ya.